close your eyes and throw a dart and wherever it lands we go. This is probably one of the worst places I've been in Scotland you could have hit. This is some you. Quite a famous well known owner who at half time has just gone on the pitch. I can reveal today we're off to This is a dart. This is a map of the UK. There's an estimated 40,000 football clubs in the UK and this dart is going to decide which one we go to watch today. The way this works is very simple. We get one throw at the map, whichever club the dart lands nearest to, we go off to watch, becoming die-hard fans for 90 minutes. For example, if the dart lands on London, but it's closest to say Dulwich Hamlet, we go watch them, not a Premier League club. Very, very simple. Right, you join us in Ben's dart dungeon, which, <laughs> Dart dungeon. At least it's the dart one I'm showing. This is a sex joke. We're, we're going to get into this very quickly. I'm going to hold the map. Ben's going to throw the dart. Just quickly before we do, this video and every away day this season is sponsored by Omada. A huge thanks to them. And due to Omada, one of you is going to win a football shirt just by downloading the app at the top of this video description. All you have to do to enter is like this video, subscribe to the channel, download Omada at the top of the description, and you can win a free football shirt just for downloading the app. Simple. Right. Let's get throwing. So, this might look really bad, but I'm holding a map. To be clear, Ben's got to close his eyes. He can't aim. Close your eyes and throw a dart, and wherever it lands, we go. Just don't aim high, because I'm not going to Scotland. Oh, the only rule, actually, there is one rule here. We can't go to Norfolk, because we live in Norfolk. So if it hits Norfolk, we refrow anywhere else in England or the UK, we're off to. And you'll see on the map, we can't cheat this. And I've not bought several of these. We've got one throw, one dart, one destiny, one love, one dream. God, that sounded amazing. Please don't hit Scotland. I can't close my eyes and do this. You didn't tell me that was a... Well, what if you hit me, that's a... <laughs> Is there a chance you hit me? No, because I'll be aiming over there. I'm genuinely terrified. <laughs> close your eyes. Loop it as well. Don't throw it hard. Loop it. For the bullseye! For an amazing finish! What an amazing finish! Damn it, me! We've got a hole in the map. Right, let's start our journey and we'll find out where we're off to in the car. Come on. Right, so we have our rough location. We know roughly where we're going to in the country, but just before we definitively find out where we're off to for today's video, a huge thanks again to this season's sponsor, Omada. Yes, as mentioned earlier, this video and every away day this season is sponsored by Omada, and thanks to them, there is two opportunities for you to win a football shirt. The first one we mentioned earlier, all you have to do is download Omada and like this video and subscribe to the channel, and you have a chance of winning a football shirt. The second one is, Omada, if you didn't know, is the risk-free way to predict football matches well, about you're staking your ego and your pride instead of money. Every day new fixtures are added to the app. All you have to do is make predictions on their fixtures. And at the end of the week, in the squads, there's different squads. You can make them with your friends. There's global squad. And there's also an away day squad. At the end of the week, the person who accumulates the most coins in this completely free-to-play, risk-free game will win a prize. And this week's prize for the winner of my away day squad which you can join by using the link at the top of the description, is a football shirt. So the week's winner wins a football shirt, and just by downloading the app, you can win a football shirt too. All you have to do is to get involved is use my link at the top of the description. A huge thanks to Omada for making this and all of our travels this season possible. Please support them at the top of the description. Right, let's find out where we're off to. Right, here we go. You can see the dart has hit a place called Ellesmere Port. Alfie, can you just put a clip in, um, a zoom in on the shot of Ben throwing it to prove that that is where it hit, which is near Liverpool. So, I've done some research and Ellesmere Port, never heard of the place, not, no offence if you live there, is famous for a Vauxhall motor parts factory. Bear in mind, right, Ellesmere Port is like four and a half hours away in itself. So this is on, this is on you. So what I've done is, as you can see on the screen, I've put in the Vauxhall Motor Parts Factory into an app which shows you all the local football fixtures near you. And I can reveal, today we're off to Widnes. Widnes Football Club against Macclesfield. And to be fair, it's bottom versus top. But also to be fair, it's a nine hour round trip on January the 2nd. Ooh. Also, one by the final thing, we might we will actually up for doing a European version of this. If this hits like 4,000 likes, we'll do this and throw a dart a map and fly anywhere in Europe to watch a game. So there is the task for you. Right, we've got a drive from Norwich to Witness, and we're gonna witness history. They've all just turned off. Really? 
We've been doing some research about Witness FC. We've decided today we're going to proper go for it. We're going to get shirts if they sell them and like proper become Witness Ultras for today. But here, here's some history about the club. They're called Witness FC. However, they were originally called Dragons AFC. I wonder why they changed that. They were founded in 2003, so I'm older than this football club. They play at the DCBL Stadium, which has a capacity of 13,350, and their record attendance, 552. They've never sold out a tenth of the stadium. It's like the Etihad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, cool. I'm a Man City fan, if you're watching this, I actually think you're brilliant, which is a sharp. Um, and also, finally, as you can see on screen today, it is bottom of the league, it's top of the league. All the odds are stacked against them. Macclesfield have just everything compared to what Widnes have. But what Widnes have today are two super fans. Come on, Widnes! <laughs> Happy New Year and all that. <laughs> Joe, I thought of a good chant. W-I-D-N-E-S-S, what does that spell? Witness. <laughs> oh. Cracker. You're not getting away with it, show everyone what you bought from the services. Pepsi Max. Look, it's in your hand. Yeah, like a Subway cookie. This is ridiculous. Of everything you could buy at services, you bought a trio I, uh, bounty bar. I must admit, I've let myself down massively there, because I normally only buy the duo. <laughs> Check his hard drive. Beep if you hate Macclesfield. Come on, beep. <laughs> That's such a pathetic beep. Come on, witness! Genuine question here, Ben. Would you rather be stuck in that two hours worth of traffic or off to watch witness? Um... Get me out of here. Can't do it. I have to go. Can there be a third option? We're five minutes from witness. Still, once again, needs to be clear, like, this is probably one of the worst places I've in Scotland you could have hit. In terms of, like, distance. Yeah, geographically. Geographically, yeah. And people are so uninterested, they made my face covered in the shade. Right, we'll see you in Widnes. Runcorn, Liverpool, Widnes. We spotted the stadium in the distance. <laughs> he's, he does not... He's that is not it. That is it? That's the DCBL, that's where Widnes play their games. What, there's 500 people in there? There'll be less. Oh, good. That's, That's Witness good. FC Stadium. <laughs> I'm not yanking your shit. Here we are, the DCBL, home of our Witness FC. Come on. This is quality. This is like a league. This is bigger than a lot of League Two and some League One stadiums. Come on, Witness. Cheers to the DCBL and Witness FC. We've spoke to one person so far, and I said to him, what do you reckon of the game will be? And he said, I couldn't care less. And apparently there'll be 40 home fans, 600 away fans. But we are staying in the home end because we're witness till we die. Wow. And they also do <laughs> they also don't sell merchandise. They sell pin badges, but that's not going to warm me up unless we get several of them. Well, we could get a program and start a bonfire. <laughs> don't do that. Ben's got a sausage roll. Do you want to show it? <laughs> Should put it up to the camera. The first time. Goodbye. Something really weird here is like there's no music on this concourse. Like it feels a bit eerie. Like this five minutes to kick off and look. Just it's just really weird. Come on, witness. Do you get goosebumps when you first walk up the steps to the ground? Come on then. Here we are. Witness FC. Ben's made a good point. It's a good job to put the away fans all the way over there. If not, it could get, could get nasty. Someone came up to us and said, why are you here today, Ellis? I said, because he's shit at darts. Blame the video creation idea manager. Who's that? Well, you. And we spoke to some Macclesfield fans, and they said they'll be disappointed if they don't win by five or six. And I felt disgusted that you'd talk about my witness like that. Go on, then, get a chance, guys. <laughs> Never have I agreed with a statement more in my life. School meals are great. That's witness till I die. Come on, witness! Go on, witness! Take one away. Witness! 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 You're in for a world of pain, number 11. <laughs> a world of pain. Witness, we are. Witness, we support. Good luck today, Lino. 
Come, Come on, on, boys! Come on! Go on! Go on! He's in! Come on! Oh, In one of the most embarrassing things I've ever had to experience, Ben just shouted at one of the players. Ooh, you're hard showing off. <laughs> and the whole place fell silent. <laughs> Sum up the game so far, half an hour in, the home fans are chanting how sh** is UV, it's only no no. Once again, he threw the down. What a save! Could someone actually explain to me, look, just look around us, That's, this is the stand we're in. Why have they gathered seven stewards in front of us for the half time as if we're all going to invade? <laughs> We actually can't see because Macclesfield have got about 15 staff members and the stewards are like... The only thing we can actually see is, is the goal. If the ball goes in, I'll be disappointed. Oh, it's up the line! Clear it! Yeah! W-I-D-N-E-S! Yes. Witness. Witness, not Windus. Witness. Dean, isn't it? It's half time, and to be fair, <laughs> Witness could genuinely nick this. Like, surely not. But that would honestly be still not good enough for the start. It'd be unbelievable if they do it. Uh, half time. No, I don't want to speak of anything because, like, we don't. We sort of have neutral opinions. But Macclesfield have quite a famous, well-known owner. I'll be honest with you, I was world class. Who at half time has just gone on the pitch and like started moaning at the refs. Can an owner do that? The answer is no. I know it's not. What's going on there. And Ben went on the pitch. He, yeah. He's got told to put his clothes back on. Us. <laughs> but there is not a zoom big enough on this camera to find it. Don't you worry. <laughs> Can't you, respond. You, you can be. Uh, well, maybe you should go also then, Jeff, because uh, you couldn't see driving home the other night because you you don't even wear your glasses. Excuse me. Have they sent Savage round to be in with the fans because yeah. he's been in the linesman's ear all the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. He can't he can't go on the pitch as an no, owner at half time. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. That with. yeah. Good. <laughs> Get him over there. Come on, boys! <laughs> just unfazed, dinking your dairy milk and your hot chocolate. We expect it. The ref's been against us all game. Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. That is out of nowhere one of the best goals I've seen in a long, long time. That is unbelievable. What a save. Uh, I think half this capacity is going to be Macclesfield staff members. Well, I think that's game. <laughs> well, that's the 90th minute. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> We're off home. Ignore the sign saying 64. I think it's malfunction. TV cameras have arrived. <laughs> oh, we've lost the ball in the meantime. <laughs> Macclesfield's manager is wearing a Canada Goose jacket. Aren't they worth like a lot of money? I'll be put the price of a Canada Goose jacket, jacket on screen. Um, not keep us going. Just a reminder again, we will do this in Europe if this hits 4,000 likes. We will honour it. Wherever the dark lands nearest to, we will go to. Obviously, there's a few areas in Europe we can't attend, but we'll honour it the closest club we can get to. That it lands near that dart, we will do. It's got to be a red! It's a red! Get him off! He's last man! No! How is that not a red? He's clean for a goal. It changes absolutely nothing because they're not scoring three goals, but it's the principle of it. We've been robbed again. How is he back? How's that happened? Just a peek of the Away Days channel. Was he on Strictly? Come on, go! Go! Yeah! So it's the 86th minute. It's 3 0. I think at this point, I'll take the point. It's a mountain to climb. Yeah, it's tough, but we can do it. Any if there's any club in this country, of all the 40 fouls you could have hit with a dart, we're the one that can do it. Hello, I'm now home just to do an outro for this video. I don't know, those of you who have been here a while, that felt like an away day away day, like an old school one. And I want to do more content like this this season. 
So if you guys can hit 4,000 likes, we'll do that in Europe. I've got more challenge ideas based as well. So I'm not going to waffle because you've finished watching the video. If you haven't enjoyed it, like and subscribe. You know, you can win two football shirts thanks to Amada. Download them at the top of the description. Vlogs have became so reactive and you have to rush them out. I don't think long term they're very good content, to be honest. Whereas like if you compare it to a shirt video, they have days of work on them, so the editing's better. This video has had days of work on it, so I think it looks much better than any way they have done this season. And I want it to continue to be like that going forward as well. So 2023 is a big year. We've got loads of challenge ideas. There's loads of cool, fun ideas as well. Still going to go to Massive Games too, but I want to do like, more stuff like that. I love doing that. So stay tuned and subscribe for more football vlogs. And I'll see you very, very soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Check his hard drive. <laughs> Check his hard drive. <laughs>